The Calgary Flames have a massive game tonight as they are in Vancouver to face the Canucks. Why is this game so big? Because it is the first matchup between the two teams since the Elias Lindholm trade. And speaking of Lindholm, he has spoken out about facing the Flames for the first time since the deal. The Flames are also getting a lot healthier, so we have a lot to unpack in this video. But first, I just wanted to welcome you to Flames Digest. I'm Mark Griffith. If you're new around here, you love the Flames, make sure you subscribe because 83% of the people watching are not subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news, updates, reports, and rumors revolving around the Flames, then make sure you join the fastest growing community of Flames fans on the internet. We are on the road to one and a half thousand subscribers, and we would love to welcome you to the Flames Digest family. But like I said, the place we need to start is tonight's game. Yes, the Flames haven't been in action for quite a while now. They've had quite a big break, it seems like, since their last game against Washington on Monday, but they make a quick trip out west to Vancouver to face the top of the west, the Canucks. That game will go at 8 p.m. tonight. It's hockey night in Canada. I know it's a bit of a later start, but it's always nice to watch them late into the night. It's a great way to spend your weekend, and it should be a very, very fun one because there's so many storylines within this game about the Flames' health and, of course, revolving around the trades that the Flames have made with the Canucks this season, the Zadorov trade, but obviously the Lindholm trade is the big one. And Lindholm speaks out about facing Calgary for the first time. He wasn't too vocal when he got traded about how he felt about Calgary and the Flames. Obviously, he said good things, just the standard things you would expect someone to say when they do get dealt away. But here is the quote he has said with this game coming up. Obviously, I had a lot of good years in Calgary, and it'll always be a special place in my heart. Lindholm told reporters ahead of the hockey night in Canada tilt, it'll be fun to play them. So in no way is he saying, you know, this is a revenge game or anything like that. I think that'll be obviously more when the Flames host the Canucks for the first time, um, or at least Lindholm's return to the Dome, wherever he may be when that is the case, if he's not able to do it in Vancouver. But it's nice to know that he says Calgary will always have a place in his heart and it'll be fun to play against the Flames. I'm sure as an athlete, it's always fun to play against your former team. And that is very, very exciting for him. Now let's focus on the Flames side and talk about this man right here, Andre Kuzmenko. He's swiftly becoming a fan favorite here in Calgary and it will be his return to Vancouver tonight. And look at that. He looks a lot more happy in a Flames uniform than a Canucks one. But I expect a very warm reception for him in Vancouver. It seems like wherever he goes, he's obviously a fan favorite. I know he's only played for two NHL teams, but he was so loved in both cities. I think a lot of Vancouver fans will be willing to give him an ovation. But let's see what he had to say about the return to Vancouver. Good time, good city, good fans, Kuzmenko told reporters on Friday when asked about his time in Vancouver. Vancouver was a good moment for me, but now is my next page in Calgary. I like this team. Wow. A lot better of a quote from Kuzmenko um, in terms of how he says, you know what? I don't care about Vancouver anymore. This is Calgary. This is where I want to be. I like that a lot. Lindholm didn't really say that. He says, Calgary has a place in my heart. He didn't say anything about but Vancouver is where I'm at now. Let's go win the cup or anything like that. But Kuzmenko, he loves this team. And that is great to see. Now, let's also do a little bit of, co of a comparison about or comparing the players that have been traded from the Flames and Canucks so far this year. So let's start with Lindholm. Things have not gone as well yet. Despite playing on a more talented squad, Lindholm's offensive struggles not only followed him, but have been exacerbated. He has netted four goals and eight points in 21 games, but two goals came in his Vancouver debut with another two-goal outing just over a week later. Lindholm heads into this meeting on a 15-game goal drought. His name even came up in the rumor mill just before the trade deadline with talk Lindholm was going to be flipped so the Canucks could add scoring help. So things haven't gone exactly fantastically for Lindholm so far in Vancouver. Maybe that's why there wasn't a quote there about Vancouver itself. Maybe I just didn't read that far into it and just wanted to focus on Calgary because that's what we do here on Flames Digest. But it is true. Things haven't gone fantastically for him. Only eight points in 21 games. That's not what you would have expected when the Flames acquired pretty much the Canucks' whole future. The Canucks would have wanted more out of him. And the Flames are obviously very happy with their 
return. Now, next, let's look at Zadorov, the other man who has gone from Calgary to Vancouver this year. Zadorov has netted five goals and 12 points in 43 games while averaging 17 minutes of ice time, curiously 82 seconds fewer than while he was in Calgary, so a bit of a smaller role in Vancouver. A pending UFA, Zadorov is hoping for a raise from his deal worth 3.75 mil, but would be hard to fit in Vancouver as a third-pairing blue liner. So essentially what they're saying here is, Zadorov obviously has a decent role on this team. He gets good minutes, and he has been great offensively, especially as of late. But maybe doesn't have a big future here in Vancouver if they want to commit more money to other players. And they already have their core, so maybe Zadorov doesn't quite fit in there. So really what this article is saying is that the Canucks didn't get the best return from their trades with Calgary so far. Lindholm hasn't had that offensive spark that he had when he played with Goudreau and Kachuk. And Zadorov, while his offensive numbers are okay, he still doesn't quite fit a major role there in Vancouver. But who knows? All of that could change in a playoff run for the Canucks with both Lindholm and Zadorov. So we'll just have to wait and see it out, see how they do with the remainder of the Canucks season. Now, the last player we have to look at is, of course, the Flames side. Looking at the Flames' property, Kuzmenko has netted five goals and eight points in 15 games since the trade. He has not scored in five games in which he has two assists. Kuzmenko, who has one more season on his contract worth five and a half million, after which he is a pending UFA. Since the trade, Kuzmenko has been as expected. Offensively gifted, but at times a defensive liability. The club is working with his all-around game, but his scoring touch is a much needed. And that's very true. He hasn't scored a goal in a little while now, not even close to Lynn Holmes. But Kuzmenko, I think he just loves scoring goals, and I'm sure he will score a few more before the end of the season. But you know what? It's okay. I know he's been benched a couple times, but still... He is the key piece that came back to Calgary in any of these trades. And so far, I know it's still early, he kind of looks like the best piece so far. Unless you want to argue that it's Hunter Bruce Stevich, who hasn't played in the NHL yet. But look what he's doing in Kitchener in the OHL. He is insane. I think when all is said and done with all of these trades the Flames have made this year, whether with Vancouver or other teams, I think he will be the main piece that came back to Calgary. And hopefully, he will have a long, good career in the Flames organization. Either way, fantastic trades, and it's super exciting to see his future, his potential with the team, while we've seen Lindholm and Zadorov not quite meet expectations. So would you say the Flames have finessed the Canucks? I don't know if we'd say that, but it's fun to talk about either way. The last thing we'll look at here is that the Flames are getting healthy. The Flames have been a little bit banged up lately, but they have got players back. We saw A.J. Greer finally return from injury after he had fractured his foot against Columbus a few months ago, and he's finally better. But now we have two more updates of players coming back for this game after the Flames have had quite a bit of a break this week. Connor Zary likely to return to the lineup tonight in Vancouver. He's missed the last eight games with an upper body injury, was activated off IR earlier Saturday. So he is off the IR. It looks as though he is fully healthy. He's been doing the optional skates lately. So I think he's definitely ready to go. Obviously, the Flames didn't want to rush him back in case that was a bit of a nagging injury. Don't need him to be more injured going into next season or anything like that. So give him the rest he needs. But I'm sure he'll want to come back and compete and improve those stats in his rookie season. Now, the other one there at the bottom, Jacob Markstrom in net his first start in two weeks for the Flames. We've seen Dustin Wolf come in and play fantastically. We know Dan Vladar is out for the year now. He will be undergoing hip surgery early next week. So there you go. Markstrom finally back between the pipes. The Flames have 14 games left. I think a realistic split would be 50-50 between Wolf and Markstrom. Markstrom tonight, most likely Wolf tomorrow back in Calgary against Buffalo. But either way, the Flames should have a very good goalie tandem for the rest of the season as they still make a push for the playoffs. We really know it's, it's going to be meaningless hockey very soon. But either way, it's great to know that the Flames are healthy and maybe they can showcase what their potential can be for next year with this certain roster that might add pieces in free agency and who knows what they will draft that could be part of the squad next, next season. Now... I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe. I hope the game tonight is fantastic and Kuzmenko is shining in his return to Vancouver. But either way, I sincerely hope you enjoy the game and I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Go Flames, go.